Welcome to this second episode of Diaspora Scholars TV where we are interviewing Jacob Otile. He is a medical doctor, but he's also a student, a master of public health student at IU Bloomington, Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. So, Jacob, uh, I mean, earlier on, I know we met and, uh, you know, welcome to the show again. Uh, Thank you. We want to hear your story uh, because for sure you have an inspirational story. You know, you said you come from the part of Africa, but not only the part of Africa, you come from a patch region. That is to the northwest of uh, Uganda, right? North, north central. North, but to the north of Uganda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where you went to school. Yes. So I'm, yeah, born and raised mm -hmm. in a patch. Um, went to school uh, in a patch. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, my primary school is actually called a patch primary school a patch primary school so it's a more i mean the most recognizable primary school here they call them middle schools yeah so i went there from my uh, earlier primary school uh, until i completed primary seven mm -hmm. and uh <clears throat> during uh i when i finished my primary seven i was among the, the, the I'm, sure three, the, I'm sure you're the top candidate. The, the three, the three, <laughs> I was the top candidate in the school, of course. Yeah. Uh, we were three who had first grade. Mm -hmm. Actually, I remember still all the boys, the three boys that were on top of the school. What are their names? Uh, I think I remember there was Atine Augustine and then there was... Um, Atine Augustine? Yeah, and then this... Oh, he's a doctor too. What's what's his name? I'll remember the name. Oh so, what God. is that? In, what does that in Augustine do? I think right now he's a, a lab technologist. Oh, so all he of you went further to went your studies into the medical beyond field. high school and I went to the medical field. Yeah, hmm. and then uh, the other Owing Moses. He's a doctor, actually. Owen Moses. Yeah, Owen Moses is a doctor now. Owen Moses, uh, your friend is here. <laughs> Jacob is in the U.S. He's doing a master's in public health. <laughs> look, look at that camera and, and talk to Moses, Moses and Augustine. Well, I still remember all of them. Moses Owen, Atina, Augustine were like the guys who used well, to Well, the guys who used to compete, you know, when you're number three, they're number one. When we you're number always one. tried so much. And the teachers would play us along uh -huh. uh, each other. Like if somebody gets a higher grade, like a 90%, they would always want you to be like a 92 so we are always trying to compete against each mm. other and fortunately enough a school that usually does not really get first grade mm. i don't remember bef before us how many first grades were got in that school you broke a record you guys so the three of us coming as a uh, first grade students yeah so that's a grade seven now uh, you call it primary seven in uganda yes yeah yeah so from, where, what year was that um, I finished my primary seven, that was in 2003. Two or three. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been around for a while. Yes, for a while, uh, <laughs> less than uh, some of us. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it feels that way, considering the hard work you've been going through. Yeah. Uh, all through, you know, to medical school. Uh, yeah. So, But before then, so you finished uh, primary seven or uh, middle school. Which high school did you go to? Yeah, so for high school, for secondary school, I, I didn't make the cutoff to be taken to my school of choice. Uh -huh. All the first three, four, three schools that which I were, wanted to. Which were national to. schools, maybe. Yeah, they were like the cream of schools that every child would want. to. They would take first grades, mm -hmm. but they would take like people who have scored four, five, and I got nine. Uh, so how is the grading system? So when you say nine, what does it mean? So the grading system in, in Uganda up to now is... The still, less points you get, the, the, the higher the, the score. The higher the score. Yes. <laughs> so if you got, because there are the four core subjects, like if you got uh, one, two, one uh, division, I beg your pardon. If you got like uh, distinction, one, 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 one in the four subjects. That oh, okay. Math. Distinction in each of the subjects. Yes. Um, so one, 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 one. One, 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 one. You get a four. Oh, yeah. That's in math, science, uh, SST, well, the, social studies, and then maybe mathematics. English, mathematics. English and mathematics. Yeah. So those are the four. So, so you got I a did, nine. I got which a is, nine. Which is pretty. It's almost like a GP of like 3.5. 
or yeah. higher. Yeah, yeah. Maybe around three point seven. Around okay. three point seven GPA, right? Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I did that, and I didn't make the cut for because that year other schools were doing really tremendously well. For us, the UPE school is like the the government system that uh, supports kids that can't really afford going to oh. private schools. Mm -hmm. So and the UPE so you system, went to a public school, uh, you know, assisted by you know government funding. Yep. What was the name of the school of the high school? Uh, so for primary, I went to Apache Primary School, mm -hmm. and then once I finished a primary school, I went into the secondary school of the of, so Apache Secondary School. No, I went into a different um, district, district. Mm -hmm. uh, but I kind of went to different schools. My first school was um, a school in. Uh, central part of Uganda called Mubende. Mubende. Yeah, which was called Mubende Army. Uh -huh. But I studied there for just maybe one one or two times. Why were you moving? I mean, my brother used to work there. Okay. As a not in the same school but in Mubende as a teacher and he wanted me to be closer to him. Okay. And experience different life of secondary yeah. school. Yeah. So I studied there, but the weather was too cold, was really not You're my You're used thing. to the northern part. I'm used to the heat. of. <laughs> <laughs> but are you used to the heat, in the, to the cold in the U.S.? I'm now getting used to, I'm now used to the cold of Bloomington. It's winter, it's, you know, and, uh, you know, you are coping and uh, you have yeah. no, I mean, you are very resilient, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Mm. So once I went there and then I changed school, from that I went to my home district again. Uh, Akohoro Secondary School. Mm -hmm. Akohoro is very much known for producing the first uh, 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 president mm. of Uganda. Oh, Dr. Apollo Milton Obote. Oh, uh, Milton Obote was from that place. Uh, born and raised in Apache. Mm. Apache District, Akohoro, mm. to be specific. Mm. So I went to that secondary school for about two years. Again, Due to performance, my performance kind of started dropping and my parents didn't like that. So they had to change my school again. So your parents were also very instrumental. I mean, uh, you know, there was a lot of efforts, uh, not only from yourself, but your parents, including changing schools. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I started joining, you know, secondary school, senior two there. That's when you start getting into the vibe of secondary school. And yeah. You're like, oh, no, I'm a big boy. I can yeah. make my own decisions. Teenagehood. Yeah. And... Um, that didn't work well for me, so I changed school and went to another government uh, public school mm -hmm. in Amola Tahar district. Oh, you went to several schools? Yeah, and Amola Tahar district, the school is called Alemere Comprehensive Secondary mm -hmm. School. And that's when I did my senior three and senior four. So that's where you graduated for, you know, high school. Yeah, that's but when I, I finished. But the Ugandan system, you go up to uh, senior, senior six. six. Yes. So senior four, that's when I sat in my, uh, in Alemere Comprehensive. And again, I was lucky to be uh, among the top three mm -hmm. candidates in my school. I was the best in, in the school. Wow. And uh, went into secondary school. What was the name of the school again? The, the one you, where you got your senior four. When I got my senior four, is called Alemere Comprehensive. Alemere Comprehensive. Secondary school. Yeah. If you are watching and you are from Alemere Comprehensive. Uh, These are schools not known in Uganda. Jacob is here. <laughs> if I tell people that if, I watch. If, if Jacob is here, those schools are famous now. They're going to be famous. Because Jacob is here, he became a medical doctor. <laughs> you know, he, he, he's, he's loving it off. But that's why we do these stories. Uh, to bring about, they will give a voice to people from Apache. We give a voice from people from Alemere. Uh, on this forum so that we can be able to showcase their success stories. Thank you. I mean, the, the, people will actually be shocked to hear some of these names of these schools because really people don't expect... People despise them. Despise them. But I went through these schools and I was able to perform at the highest level. And uh, Patch Primary School, I was the best in my primary school. I went to Alemere Comprehensive. You are also I the best. I was the best in that school and we were only three. Primary school, we were only three that got first grade. Secondary, uh, senior four was again the top three candidates, and I was the among the I was the best in the school, and then went into 
high school now, which so is senior is, five. That is now, they call them A-level. A-level, advanced level. Yeah. So I went into a school called Midland High School, Kawempe, within Kampala. That was oh, now no, like... that was... <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you go to the city. Finally, I come into Finally, you the had... lights of yeah, the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's a private school. Wow. Very expensive. Yeah, it pay. is a school, private school. Yeah. This is the first time I'm actually experiencing um, life in a private school. That's but when you saw, you know, people driving in with cars and whatnot. People, kids being brought to school in cars. But yet, uh, backstory, back in Alemere, mm. uh, actually what we used to do was, uh, from my village, which is in Akokoro, mm -hmm. we used to ride our bicycle to Lake, uh, Lake Kyoga or Lake Kwania. I'm sure you know the names yes. of those lakes. Uh, yeah. And use a boat, engine boat, and then drive, uh, ride across the boat, I mean across the lake, and then go on to the other side with our bicycle in, our metallic cases in the boat, and then ride the bike across again, kilometers, go to school, and someone brings back home the bicycle. So you would go with like your little cousins or little brothers, in front of the bike as you're riding with your suitcase behind and then once you reach the school he brings home the bicycle because you can't stay with the bicycle at school somebody else has to bring the bicycle wow back at home <laughs> because it has its work at it has it, it 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 has to be used to run errands it's exactly. a means of transport for the family yep yep the bike is a means of transport primary means of transport going to fetch water going to get food, sell, send, sell food in the market and all those other things. So you can't keep the bicycle at school for a term. So that's, that used to be my means of transport. And I actually, um, not so long ago, about three, four years ago, I went back to that lecture where I used to cross. And the guy I used to ride the engine boat with there. that, he's still there. I, I went and met him. He could not recognize me. I told him, Tabu, you used to transport ferry you us, across. ferry us across. And he's like, oh, now I remember you're the son of so. And I'm like, yep, I'm the one. Hold that thought. <laughs> you are watching Diaspora Scholars TV. This is the story of Jacob Otile. Did you hear what he said? You use a bike, put on a boat, cross a river, but the bike doesn't go to school, then he has to walk to school. We'll be right back.